could ask for a better day to be outside at a parade and a rally? It has been several days of celebrating the Yukon Huskies' third consecutive NCAA win, and today the excitement continued. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live in Harper with the assignment of the day. Josh, I'm sure the turnout was spectacular. Aaron, it was spectacular. Thousands of people turned out. And it was a day, of course, that really came to its pinnacle because here in the state of Connecticut, we have been in a state of constant celebration ever since the Yukon women's basketball team defeated Notre Dame. And today, all of that excitement and electricity was able to come together for their victory parade. Now, it all began here at the state capitol. And wow, is it a sight to see. The team and coaching staff arrived on a Peter Pan bus. They then got onto a double-decker bus led by the Yukon Marching Band and went for a ride through downtown, ending in front of the Axel Center. Now, you really could feel just how happy people were to be here. There were smiles combined with cheers, applause, and more than a few well-known university chants. This is the 10th time the team has won a national championship, but make no mistake about it, people here are hardly fatigued with all the championship parades that have happened in recent years. In fact, you guess you could say it's becoming a bit of a tradition. We've heard Gino Oriama talk a lot about it. You know, I know everybody expects them to, to win and do this every year, but we know that it's, you know, it's not a given and it's, it's a lot of hard work. So, um, you know, it's, it's always great. At the XL Center, Juno Oriema took time to thank the crowd for all of their support this season. He had mentioned that 30 years ago, it would have been hard to imagine just how much the UConn women's basketball program has been able to accomplish. But it seems, though, that based on what we saw hearing from the crowd today, they're already looking for number 11. For now, we're live in Hartford. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.